Hi, my name is Micah Rodler. I work at Miles Corcoran Construction Consulting. We are building understanding. Tonight I'm standing 4,000 feet above the Pacific Ocean on Devil's Peak and I'm going to spend the night up here in my homemade house wrap shelter. Um, it's a new breed, it's a new brand called Siga. Uh, their house wrap material is Maj Vest and I fabricated it with Maj Vest, taped it all up with Siga products, um, a, a self cured sealant, a two sided foam, and um, a tape, wig glove tape. So, uh, before I show you what we're doing up here, let's go back and uh, see how this got started. So here we are back at MSC Construction Consulting where we design by waterproofing materials and systems for homes and buildings. Uh, we love to test materials to get a better understanding for how their qualities work in real life. Uh, one of the concepts we work with a lot is vapor permeability. So in order to get a better idea for what vapor permeability really feels like, I decided that I'm going to build a shelter out of a house wrap material, spend the night in it, and see uh, does it keep me warm? Um, can I breathe? Does the material allow the water vapor to escape? Alright, about ready to start assembly here. <clears throat> We've got our plan that we uh, worked up on SketchUp with our dimensions. Still working on our floor, making this into a tub using our Sega primer, B R I M U R. Sticky, sticky stuff. <laughs> okay, put it down. But that's what. That's what we're working with here. It's just a flexible sealant that's pre cured. We have our floor finished, all our corners done. That, that will uh, sail to form a big tub when we're done. Anyhow, did the corners a few days ago. The Sega Primer is done. It's stuck pretty good. Okay, so we're going to cut a couple flaps for the door, and uh, one nice thing about this wrap is the uh, demarcations here, so you can line stuff up if it works with whatever you're doing. Whoa, 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 we're recording. Stand back. Come back. Come back. Okay. We're working on our door, right? We're going to put another flap over here. And we use the tape on this side. And just to try something different, we're going to use this stuff on this side. And it is Siga Nag Ditch Band 2. Okay. So, uh, hopefully I got that pronunciation right.
Okay, we got our green light to go overnight with our Sega shelter. on cutting edge of architecture right on the coast really exposed to the elements classic view of Big Sur here and uh, I'm about to turn inland all right finally made it on the trail got more equipment than anybody possibly need to go camping overnight but what the heck Whew. heading up for Devil's Peak about 4.45, sun setting. We have a few hours of hiking to do and try and get up there before the sunset. Going up, going up, going up. Poison oak. All right, we're making progress. There's Devil's Peak. Camp up there tonight. Whose idea is this? Whose idea was this? Why didn't I go to the beach? <sighs> Made it. Devil's Peak. Here's our shelter. Got it set up. This is our home for the night. Okay, so we just hopped in our shelter. It's about 9:30, and uh, took some measurements just after uh, being in here for a few minutes. And we have a inside relative humidity of about 42%. Outside 28.2%. Inside temp 78, outside temp 75. Well, we're back in the shelter, and the wind was picking up there again as soon as I got the camera on, it dies back down. Right. Just moving up and down with wind. Um, so it's moving around, but I can't feel it. It's staying warm in here. Let's see what the uh, temperature is. It's a toasty 78 degrees. 79. Yay. All right, we've survived our night in the Sega shelter. All right, good morning. We survived our night in the Sega shelter and uh, call it a success on a couple accounts. We had moderately high winds up here last night and uh, the shelter kept us nice and warm. We took measurements throughout the night and we uh, got warmer readings inside the shelter. We also got significantly higher relative humidity readings inside the shelter also, which tells us that the uh, vapor barrier is vapor permeable and let the water escape. If it was uh, plastic or something of that nature, we'd get the water building up on the inside of our shelter. So good. What does it all mean? What's the point of coming out here and doing this? Well, I had a little bit of time to think about that and now concluded that it's just to get a feel for what uh, vapor permeability means, not just a number. Um, so 
now we know. Now we can, now we felt vapor permeability in a beautiful place. Thank you.